Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James, I'm Nobu. and today we are going to be watching Band of Brothers Episode 2. So we left off on a kind of massive cliffhanger with D-Day basically happening. Mm. Um, we have that one officer who's, or soldier, sorry, who's de whose uh, brother died oh, in yeah, Italy. Oh yeah, yes. Um, and I don't really know what's going to happen there. But honestly, I just kind of want to see us in action. I want to see Winters in action as a leader yeah. for once. Uh, cause we, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm into these characters already, especially Winters. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very sold on his character. So I'm curious to see how this goes down. I want to see what, what they show. Yeah. And this was like a kind of a different, it's a very different perspective view. of D-Day. Yeah. Of D-Day. So we'll see. Cause we're dropping behind the beaches, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, I think I'm it was like the, that's what they yeah. said. So I'm very curious to see what happens and I kind of want to just jump into it. So full length thrash is up to Patreon. Next episode, episode three is up for early access. If you want to see that. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. And let's just get into Band of Brothers Episode 2. I, I just kind of love the feel of this whole thing. And I, I don't know, I, I just like the feel of the show and like the music and everything. It just feels like something that I don't even know if they would make anymore, but I, I like it a lot. Yeah, I agree. I'm really curious how, how um, as to how they're going to kind of show, like, the action. Of D-Day? Yeah, because we haven't yeah. gotten a ton of, like, even just, like, straight up No, action, not at you all. You know what I'm saying? And it's a TV show, so it's like, ah, what's the budget look like? Different things there, too. Yeah, I'm not too worried. I'm just curious as to, like, um, you know, how they're going to kind of, like, film it or portray it. Standing in the door, I could see the lights on a drop zone. And I had to assume that was our drop zone way in the... So that uh, we had had the red light, had everybody standing up, ready to jump. So when the plane started to get hit, and suddenly it, the pilot gives me the green light, I'm out the door immediately. Got such an opening blast from the, the opening shot from the prop blast that it broke this chin strap. That I really like that we're doing these interviews. Yeah, this, this is really this cool. Is so awesome. That's when I lost this famous leg bag that everybody talks about just from the shock of the opening. Came from the sky, we hit, and in any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. All that you know, you uh, you've been trained and trained and trained. What your what your job is going to be, and what you're supposed to do. But it's so different when you're. Oh there. yeah. You know, and we lost a lot of people that night. But uh, you try to put it all on your mind. I mean, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much you train, you know. It's just the real thing is just you could get shot from just a random thing and then you're just gone. I mean, hey, nothing's ever going to go according to plan. I feel that's like that's true. just how it is. Is that winners? Yeah. I can't tell because the helmet for some reason. I just, I love that they're doing certain things that I feel like makes it look so, like, like so realistic. Like even just the sound design and like how absurdly loud it is in mm -hmm. the plane mm -hmm. and the sound of these propeller planes and the shaking and. Yeah. Hopefully we don't overshoot or anything. Is this like a stealth jump, or are they gonna know we're coming? I feel like they're. I feel like we should encounter some. A gun, yeah. Yeah. Fire. So I feel like they did. I'm pretty sure. Dang, dude. There's always that one guy. Oh. There's your A. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a crazy sight. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh gosh. Oh, this is crazy. Dude, look at this. Oh, holy! Dang, bro. 
Imagine having to jump into that, man. Dude. Oh my gosh, bro. That's the fear. I mean, it's bad enough jumping. I'm serious. No, yeah, just straight jumping. Oh gosh. Ah. Uh. Would you jump? Could you survive that? I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe. You have parachutes. Oh gosh, dude, having to stay. Oh. Dang it. Oh gosh. I mean, this is gonna mess up where we drop and stuff like that too. Of course. Oh shoot. Oh. Dang. Oh my gosh, the fire. <gasps> Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. Now, they're just going to shoot up at you, you of know? Course, it's like crazy. It's easy. You get the shoots as a target. Dang, this is crazy. Oh, gosh. I don't want to see from this guy's point of view. I don't know if you're gonna make it. Oh! Oh, oh shoot! Oh, no. oh shoot! Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to, in. I guess. Yeah, of course. Hopefully, we can slow oh, down. Oh gosh, watch out, dude! Oh shoot! That was a good landing, actually. Yeah. That was a really good landing. I thought that was going to be rougher. All right, where's everybody? And this, like, this safety that we're in is like, oh, yeah, we're in enemy territory. I don't think that's the correct reply, Trooper. I say Flash. I say Thunder. Yes, sir. Thunder. Coach? Sir, it's Halter. I was on the basketball team. Like that. Dang, bro, he doesn't even have his gear yet. Yeah, we have to get to it. They're right there. Look at that. Dude, what if we shoot our own people? You know what I'm saying? Like We might. That's tell? why they have the flash thunder thing, right? That's true. Do you... That's... I, yeah, yeah, that's that. Should we... What do you do? How many people are there? Damn. Aren't you D Company? I guess that means one of us is in the wrong drop zone, sir. All <laughs> Probably of you, everybody. All of you are in the wrong drop zone. Do you have a weapon, sir? Just my knife. Oh. So you're a radio man. Yes, sir. Well, I was until I lost my radio on the jump. <laughs> Great. I'm sure I'll get chewed out for that. Wait a minute, second. Well, maybe you could tell that to my platoon leader when we find him. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's just, yeah. <laughs> First, I need your help. Locate some landmarks to get our berries. We're not lost, Brian. We're in Normandy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Winters, man. Yeah, he's turned out to be a really good, like, solid leader. He's just such a fascinating character. Somebody. Okay, okay. Who's that? You the winners? Is that you? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, what? No, sir. As soon as I hit that prop blast, so long leg back. Second voice got there in Monzo. 982nd. Where the hell are we? Sir, <laughs> I saw a sign back that way. It said San Merrick Lees. Oh, that's one of the places, right? Raincoat? You got a raincoat? Yeah. We, we're, spo we're supposed to secure like certain places, like exit ways or whatever. We're about seven kilometers away. <laughs> so, 
Hey, you want to walk and, and there's like seven of us. You want to stick with us until we find your unit? Let's go. Find us, bro. Or find out where the heck we are. We should be coming up to a road and bridge ahead. Yeah, how would you know? Who are these guys? Because they study the sand tails, right? Flash! Thunder! Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh nice, nice, nice. We're getting more people. Good, good, good. That's crazy <laughs> that they just walked right past it though. Imagine if they weren't like Of course. You know. What the hell is ball? Right? Yeah. Might be. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. I don't think we can. No, oh shoot! My. Wait, wait. What? It's because he's pissed, bro, about his brother. Shoot! Shoot! I mean, everyone better start firing. We're in it They're, now. Wait, they are. They are. They are. They are. But like. Oh. Oh gosh. You better hope nobody heard that. Everyone okay? Sir, sir. Next time I say wait for my command, you wait for my command, Sergeant. Yes, sir. I mean, uh, Quaker. Ugh, come on, bro. It's not that. It's about you gotta listen to orders. What's that guy's problem? Gonorrhea. Really? His name, dummy, Garnier. Gonorrhea, get it? <laughs> None of your fucking business, cowboy. All right, let's move out. Sir. You see him? He just sat there. He didn't have a weapon. What's he gonna do, shout at him? He just wanted you to wait for his command. Yeah, bro. Mm. Joe, he don't even drink. Bro, get out of here with that BS. He's leading you better than. Can you imagine if it, the other guy was there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's a. Oh, that's a rough way to die. Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. Yep. McDowell. You okay? Yes, Sergeant. Well, let's go. Dang, can we cut him down at least? Hey, I promised my kid brother I'd fetch him back a Luger. So I got first dibs, okay? Check that out. Watch out. What if they're... Whoa. Right on time. Yeah, tell that to him, cowboy. My name's Hall. That's so. Let's move out. He's gonna learn to return his fire is all. His brother got at a casino. Found out before we jumped. Yeah. Did we have any hopes of hitting our objective on time? Or are we just... What? Go ahead. Morning, sir. Sally, oh. sure we'll be happy to see you guys. Sorry, I thought they looked like they were in gray uniforms. Well, I think they might be, right? Are they? Where are you from, son? Oh, yeah, those are prisoners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eugene, Oregon. Eugene? You gotta be kidding me. Orange Street. What gives? What are you doing in a crowd uniform? Old Deutsche. Come again? My family answered the call. What got you to Eugene? I was born Eugene. <laughs> Shoot. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's crazy. But I guess that did happen to some people. This hall, table cover. Known as Cowboy. From Texas. Manhattan. What's going on? What's the hold up? Not sure. It's good to see you, Dick. Yeah, you too, Buck. 
situation. Uh, not good. Ninety percent of the men are still unaccounted for. Ninety percent. No one's seen him or anyone from this plane. Didn't his plane go down? It did, didn't it? I don't remember. I think that's the so one chaotic. that lit on fire. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, Lieutenant Spears. How many men of Dog Company got assembled? Handful, maybe twenty. Crap. So far. Still waiting for orders. You got some cigarettes? Yeah. He's <laughs> like, no, I just gave them away. Hey, keep it back. Yeah, so I was in the plant in 39. That's when I was at Monarch tooling propeller shafts. No kidding. <laughs> what are the chances of that, huh? You and me, 100 miles from each other. Shh. Doing the same job. Jeez. Hey, Malark! We're waiting on you. Yeah, I'm coming. I gotta run. But can they keep prisoners right now? Do they? Can they afford that? I'm surprised he's doing that anyway. Yeah. Oh. Oh gosh. Well, I mean that's normal, right? A lot of times they have to do that. Because they don't, people don't have resources to keep prisoners. I just didn't expect that. Hey, any of you guys know where Easy Company is? <laughs> you see Lieutenant Mia? No, not yet. But Major Strayer wants Easy Company CO up front. There's some crowd 88s up ahead. Up ahead and to the right, about what? 300 yards? Up through those gardens. Now they're right between us and causeway number two. Want to take out their artillery? Okay. They're doing some terrible damage there. There are two guns that we know of firing on Utah Beach. Jeez. A fourth here and here. The Germans are in the trenches with access to the entire battery and with machine gun cover in the rear. We'll take some TNT along with us to spike the guns. Lift in your responsibility. Yes, sir. Leave got, you'll take the first machine gun. Compton, Malarkey, Toy, Garnier. Okay. We'll be making the main assault. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's pack it up, boys. Shouldn't you be outside with the other Able Company guys? See you around, all. Are there any other Able Company guys? Oh. Dang, that kind of sucks. I like this guy. Captured the first gun. I want you and your TNT as fast as possible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, you heard the word. Let's move. Let's move. Is that Lorraine right, like a French name? Sounds like it. Sounds like a French name. What a uh, Lorraine tank. Back to that. I'm worried about how many Germans we're going to face here. Yeah, I wonder if we, because we probably Cause don't have any info, really. No, and we're not a terrible squad, but if there's like 30, 40 guys, we're going to have a hard time. Yeah, and they're like bunkered down, yeah. right? So it's like... Was that, like six, seven guys? Yeah, I mean, to man, like, one of those guns, probably, like, yeah, five guys or something like that. And then they probably have extra people to guard. So it's at least 20. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Draw their fire to the right from the truck. Take two men and hit them. Give covering fire. Hooray, on the machine gun. Don't give away your position until you have to. Yeah, we don't want to be mowed down. Yeah. You see, we've captured the first gun. Go. Yes, I don't want to lose any of our guys. I know, yeah. we can't afford to lose anybody. Be careful, be quiet. Are they reloading? They're reloading, I think. Oh! Oh, oh shit, shit bro! Okay. Oh, he got up in the tree. Nice, nice, nice! Oh, that's a good spot. Get him, get him, get him, bro. Oh, shoot, though. They're going to see yeah, you. Yeah, they see him. There's like no cover. Shoot. Shoot. We still haven't taken that guy out. This is not good. Come on. 
go, go, go. Yeah, we're drawing all the fire. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, okay. Get in there. Oh, oh no, shoot. what? What was that? Gosh, this is crazy, bro. Oh. Oh, gosh. I think I hit. Oh, shoot. Oh. He's like Shoot. Shit. I'm sorry, sir. Shoot, bro. Oh, grenade. Get it oh, out. Oh, my. It's right there. Oh. How the heck? I like how you can hear the uh, Garand pings yeah. from those guns. Give a and that gun. I love this camera work. It's just cr it's so stressful. No way! That's actually one of the better. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not bad. Nothing's gonna happen there. I mean, it's gonna hurt, but. Fuck up. I don't, I don't think it's too bad. Hopefully, this is. Think you can make it back for something, so, sir. Shoot. One o'clock. Oh no! Toy, let's go. Get out of there. Get us. Oh no! Shoot. Oh, oh, oh. That's good? insane. Can we use the gun? No, we can't, right? I'm crazy. Ah, uh, it'd be too difficult. Ready? Move! I got the first gun! We got it, we got it. Yeah, but there's still, still so much. Yeah, and they. Do they know we're there? They know we're there, yeah. Yeah, probably. Don't screw this up this time. Oh nice. oh, nice. Good grenade throw. Good grenade throw. Go, go, go. Shoot, what do you do? I mean, you might just need to take him out. Dang. Oh, good thing he kept those. Worth. That's good. Dang. I like seeing that kind of stuff. It seems yeah. convenient, but I feel like it's also just very real. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! Dang! Are you kidding me, bro? He's trying to get the stupid Luger! Christ, they must think he's a medic or something! He's gonna need a goddamn medic! <laughs> they, they thought he's a medic? <laughs> What are you doing, dude? What the frick are you doing? Oh my. Dang, bro. What are you doing? Okay, that dude's a straight That idiot. was stupid. Dude, why didn't you do it after? Like, you have so much time after. I'm sorry, I messed up, Liv. I'm sorry. Hey, Sarge? Yeah. You think this is a ticket home? Maybe. Who knows? Not here. We gotta get out of here first, also. It's not... Drop that down. Oh, that's insane, dude. Oh. 
Don't, don't. Okay. Oh. Oh. No. oh. Oh, okay, okay. They're just taking out the barrel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Covering fire. Third gun here. Lorraine. Shoot, dude. This is insane. Find out, Jake. Malarkey, let's go! Toy, cover! Dang, they're going in for it. Head down! Hold! Leave your TNG! Go, go, go! Oh, oh, okay. I thought he. I thought he. Fire oh! What oh. happened? That was a. That was a booby trap, I think. Dang it! Dang, this is crazy. Oh, dang. I like that they run, actually. That was Hall. That was the first yeah, guy he landed that with. Sucks. Dude. Oh. Fire in the hole. Jeez. <sighs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's so smart, yeah. dude. <laughs> he just showed up. Go, 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 go. Who is that? Spears? Holy, the D company's crazy, bro. Uh, he going out of the trench? Yeah, why? Oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, what the heck? Why did he jump out of the, Why did they all get out of the trench? Sorry. I had trouble getting through that first field. <laughs> Crazy. It is a miracle no one's been hit. Move up, move up, move it up. MG okay, back to battalion. Go, go. Oh, be careful. Oh, dang. Yeah, probably there's 40 left. I think we need artillery or maybe mortars might do the job. Jeez. Oh dang! Oh, Sherman's. That's sick. Hey, those are like That's real. Uh, they are they gotta be, dude. I bet you they pull out the stops for this. That's Sherman too, yeah. Right. Sure. Sir. Careful. No, no. How we doing, Malak? We're doing good. Doing good? Yeah. I need to know about cooking. You're Irish. Sir, if you have a reservation someplace else. Oh, Jesus. Hey, man. Jesus Christ, give me some hat. Uh-oh, they're going to get in trouble. Yeah, it does. Sir, I'm John, you can't don't drink. On day of first. <laughs> oh, dang. Don't you think I'm here? Yes, sir. Oh, Sergeant? Sir. I'm not a Quaker. <laughs> you might guess the county's probably a Mennonite. Hall, 
Hanks, a John Hall, New Yorker. Got killed today at Breakor. I, I never knew him. Yeah, you did? Radio Wop, five or six basketball team, able. Hey, Dick. I sent that map up to Division. I think it's gonna do some good. Yeah, I mean, it probably will. Yeah, remember, remember the good stuff you did, right? Yeah. You took those guns, you saved men's lives, and how much was that map going to do? And listen, at the end of the day, bro, he was a soldier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think you have to also give him some respect for being on the battlefield and understanding the risks and things like that. That's crazy. I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days and prayed I would make it through D plus one. And if somehow I managed to get home again, I promised God and myself that I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. That's crazy. That's crazy. What do you think? That was good. That was great. Yeah, that was very well done. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I almost feel like this is the real start. Like the other stuff was the prologue almost. It is kind of because, you know, they do have to um, kind of show how we kind of got here. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And it also gives you a little bit of extra like connection with the characters. To the characters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so now we're, it's like the real deal now. Yeah. And we're having to, it's a lot more stressful. Because it is. The characters, you know, have a chance of like actually dying, not just like in some, you know, way where it's like, Oh, we might get dismissed or we might be in trouble. It's like, nah, we're, we might die, you yeah. know? So, yeah, and I think you really feel that. I yeah. think the show does a really good job of letting you feel that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they find a kind of a good balance between, like, like I think that the temptation with a war movie is to go the other direction as far as, like, just show everybody dying and guts and mm -hmm. blood. And, like, yeah. and, and I, not that that's not a reality, but I think sometimes it, it, you go a little too far. Yeah. Um, and I think the show, at least so far, has a really good balance of, like, it, you just kind of feel like that random guy who was like, oh, I'm looking for command. And it just gets like shot in the head. Yeah. Like kind of this almost the randomness of the deaths. While still understanding that it is a story and um, it needs to kind of like comply to certain things. Yeah. I feel. Um, and I think they're doing a good job of still adding that like element of realism, but being, you know, still telling a story. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's 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 crazy. Yeah, it was it was cool to see like um, like the flat guns and stuff like that, and having to deal with that. Um, them kind of flying in, and having you know the amount of trouble that they were having. Yeah, honestly, just seeing D Day from a different perspective was very. It was a, it was a very interesting. Yeah, yeah, it was, and it's cool to see like, you know, despite how much you train, and how many plans you make. It just, especially with something so new, it's like so hard to kind of like execute it perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously D-Day was a, yeah. a nightmare a little bit. And there's always going to be issues, right, that just come into play. it would be fog, not knowing something, having to fly low. It's like there's so many things that could happen. You sure. Know? Um, and then I like also seeing, you know, that short moment that we got with the, uh, I don't know who it was. Um, but one of our guys talking with the, one of the German soldiers, yeah. they were right. Who was, I, yeah. I, yeah. I thought that was kind of cool, you know, to see them, um, almost like, it's just very simple. Like they were just reminiscing almost of like, Hey, you know, we used to be from the same spot, you know, it wasn't like this whole, like, Oh, you were my brother. It was like, you know, it was no, no, just, no. But it was just kind of that yeah. like weird, like, wait, really? You speak English or what? What? Yeah. And then death. He's yeah. just gone. And it's like they don't make it like a like a super tragic moment or a huge. It's just like it just happens, you know. 
And I like that. Um, Did all of D Company die? Am I crazy? Did they all just like jump above the trench and get killed? Yeah, I don't know what was with that. I didn't understand. Because that's the same guy that killed all the prisoners. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. I feel like, well, a few of them survived, right? Because okay, there's the one yeah, dude yeah. that was like... Because like, he just that. felt really over-eager. Then it was like, whoa, what's happening? Like you, I thought it was good to f- be over... I mean, not over-eager, but to be like, you know, up in Adam kind of uh, but vibe. Then, but then why did he... Like, I didn't even understand, like, why? Why did they jump out of the trench? Like, <sighs> But, I mean, that's, you know, whatever, it happens, right? Like, sure. some people just like... <laughs> sure, it was just like, whoa. And Hall, I, I thought they did a really good job with his character. Yeah, just adding him in there as like, you know, a more, I don't know, younger type of person, right? And it's like, yeah, this is the the, the horrors uh, of war, you know? It's like... Well, and just that, even more of that feeling of like, I like that we were, we didn't know his character. We were introduced to his character. It's like, he kind of just, we met him when we landed because the, the, the drop was crazy. And then it was kind of like, oh, and he's dead now. And yeah, just, and they, they set it up like the, he had this short, like... Um, kind of little art going where it's like, oh, he, you know, he's not one of the guys, you know what I'm saying? No, he's, yeah. a, he's a Jeep driver. And so yeah. he might, you know, he wanted to join and stuff like that. And, you know, it almost felt like they were setting up for like a thing where he was going to be like part of the group now and he was going to have to prove himself. But like, you know, just didn't. And he did. He just, yeah, he died. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, this is, this is so well done. Yeah. I think the characters and everything like that are so well done. I think the way that they're filming the combat, I think, especially. Yeah, sound effects are really uh, important. It just feels crazy, and, and the stress levels are... I don't know. I think the way they communicate that is really, really good. I agree. It's very well yeah. done. So, I mean, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, as always, Fun Interaction is going to be up with the Patreon. The next week's reaction, episode three, is going to be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you do decide to stick around... We will see you all in the next video.